Howdy folks, welcome to episode 37. Today we're going to see if we can get our boxcars loaded up and moved across. Oh, yeah, we need to do this too. I kind of figured we might need to uh, warm up the, <laughs> the engine here. There we go, one more. I think I need to do that to pick it up, right? Yep, okay. So, we'll get that warming up and then what we need to do is we need to get the doors on these opened. I believe we put two of them in this one, right? we put two in this one no I didn't okay I I tested afterwards and then I didn't save after I saved it I tested just to make sure that this was where it needed to be lined up so there we go and see we got we got a box in there so what we need to do is open all these up there we go we're gonna open all these up and apparently I'm not the only one who is having trouble with uh, cars coming off the rails and stuff like that so they are um there's yeah there's basically they change the physics a little and so the cars are a bit janky on corners and stuff they've got a lot more friction on corners and that sort of deal so and we will make sure that we don't have any brakes on too yeah we don't have any brakes on okay other than the engine all right cool just wanted to make sure so we're going to pull these up a little bit at a time. I think we'll do the usual, uh, let me see. We want the door about right here. So we'll go like this. We're going to do this. And then we're going to shrink this down so we can just do this. We don't need the generator either. There we go. We can hide this away up here. Way up there. Way up in whoop whoop land, right? <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's get this. Just making sure it doesn't have any momentum on its own, right? And before I do this, I want to make sure. Yeah, our switch is the right way. Okay. So we'll make sure our switch is actually set to the correct direction. Let's get it moving a little bit. There we go. We just need some momentum. We don't need too much, um, whatchamacallit. I should probably put a little bit of brake on the very back car, but I don't think that's going to make that much of a difference. There we go. Give it a little bit of impulse there. There. See if we can get it moving. What's our speed on here? Yeah, 0. 0.5. Yeah, I know. I'm driving Miss Daisy over here. <laughs> there we go. And that should be good. Because we are not going to load 32. I think it was like 7 minutes per. It takes full 15 seconds from when you click on this and it starts till you can click on it again. It's 15 seconds. And that's if you don't have any delay at all between, you know, when it's when it's able to reset and when you actually click it. So that's the the absolute ideal is 15 seconds. So a quarter of a minute, right? Four boxes per minute and 32 boxes per car. So it's eight minutes to load up a car. Who wants to do that in a game? You know, if I were getting paid to do that, if it were a job and I were getting paid, you know, I, yeah. Okay. But it's not. <laughs> That's right. Okay. And... It's, it's like the definition of grindy, right? Okay, so we'll get this next one up here. We're just going to load one into each one, and then what we'll do is we'll do the usual. We'll jump out and and uh, load it in the, the save editor. And then we can, uh, here, as soon as that shadow comes across, there we go. All right, I'm looking at this shadow right here. And, nope. There. Gotta remember which keys are which, right? Okay, and then we can even. We don't need to. There we go. I'm like, we don't need to wait for it to. <laughs> to actually get on there before we start applying the controls, right? There we go. 
I think this is actually even a slight uphill, so if anything. I think the engine will start hitting a slight uphill, won't it? Yeah, it's going to take a bit before it gets to that. Bring up one more car here. That's the the funny thing with this. The tools too is that they're, um, is that it's it's th not even two cranes. They don't have two cranes per. It's just one, because a lot of the other ones have two cranes. So it's kind of weird. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, and then um, I think we're, what, halfway through maybe? I think we got only a couple more. Yeah, three three more. All right. You can do it. There we go. Because then what we need to do is we also need to get some pipes over to the oil thing in order to get oil. We need pipes and beams, so we're going to have to do more. We're still going to have to do more uh, runs on this. So that's probably what we'll do, because I don't think this is going to take... Uh, did I just do that? I think I clicked the button. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Let's go like this. And... Open controls. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it's totally my fault. All right. I didn't save time. I wasted it. There we go. So, yeah, after this, we'll, we'll do another thingy. Do a run from the... Uh, we'll have to get the log pipes and bring them. Okay, so that go and then these should all be these should all have one in them oh you can't run through the front huh okay there's one in there did it show one in that oh okay because they're backwards yeah yeah no, that makes sense because I re-railed them yep there's one in there there's one in there cool all right well I'm gonna go fix this up and wow <laughs> I didn't I didn't change that yet. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go fix this up in the save editor and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're back and we should be ready to go, load it up. Let's take this thing down the track and see what we can do. So, I'm going to try to just drive it with a normal interface right now. I haven't attached the uh which call it? I haven't attached uh, extended mod yet, so we'll just see if we can drive this. And we had 88. We had 88 of the which call it. So I'm just kind of wary; these things were bouncing and stuff. So, um, but yeah, we had 88 of the thingies. So we'll have to see how many are left but yeah we can unload and I emptied that out of the industry too so we can unload um, 88 of these so three cars we can unload three cars once we get there and then the rest of them we're gonna trash them we just I just wanted to pull the fully loaded train was the idea Let's see how we can do here how well we do so it sounds like from I was reading other posts on the um, on the steam forums and it sounds like what it is is um, it's not necessarily the switches or whatever it's basically the number of segments of track that your train is going over that the whole thing is covering so it when you're when you go over a joint between two pieces of track it slows down and then when you um, obviously when you go over a switch your thing is going to be on at least three pieces of track at one time three segments three splines so I think that's 
that actually makes sense and I'll probably try that out. I'll make a bunch of really short segments and just chain them all together and then try that. I'll do that offline. I don't <laughs> I don't think you want to watch that. I'm guessing you probably don't want to watch that. So it's not popcorning, so let's see if we can go faster. I just I think there's a certain critical speed that all of a sudden it just really freaks out. But this is doing fine. We gotta make sure our switches are set too. Okay. Yeah, this is the corner that I want to clean up in the in my editor, save editor. See if I can make that happen. And I think we did purposely move the we put the things farther out. We put the rails farther out from the platform, the unloading platform on this. It's still a little chuggy, isn't it? Maybe it's just me. No, it's still doing a little bit of a slideshow here. I don't have the frame rate thingy on. I think these are all set up so that we go the right way. So let's see what happens when we hit this segment of track here. What happens to our frame rate? Yeah, it's it's not perceptibly changing that much. Yeah, it is now. <laughs> you can feel it now. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to have to start breaking here in a minute. I should I guess I'm going to have to load up a extended mod to to be able to unload these. All right, we're really coasting really well. Let's see now, dechugging, is it? Let's see if this will stop us in time. Maybe a little too quickly. <laughs> a little too soon. All right, I think we can even unload two at a time. Let's see. But yeah, we need to get beams, so we're going to have to go all the way across the thing. Um, we'll have to figure out where we can place these. We can place this on the loop, I think. There we go. All right, and then let's unload this one. Let's open the door, and then we can unload it. There we go. See how much we're getting. See, we're getting tons of money for these. That's a lot of tools. They're, they're apparently disposable tools. <laughs> right? You need a whole box of tools to make one thing of oil. Well, I suppose maybe the drill. Maybe you'd need for drilling the drill bits wear out. But, yeah. I like how they're placed haphazardly, too. And they're not, like, perfectly you know, stacked like a machine did it. Okay, we'll open this one. I think we can unload this one here. Let's see. Yep. We're getting money. Alright, cool. And then the third one we're going to unload till we get 88. So... That'll be our thing, and then we can use the editor next time I'm in the editor. I can uh, delete all the other tools out. So I just got to decide where we're going to put this. I think we're going to back it up after we do that. 64, okay. So let's go like this. Can close that up. See if we can get one more. You just need to get that last car up up on the thing. It shouldn't be too hard to align it, right? A little bit more. 
and I think that's good. All right, let's see if we can do it. Oh, that's right, I can't run high speed now. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna unload until we hit 88. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 70. Two, three, four, five, 76, seven, eight, nine, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. Should we should have, yep, we got 88. Perfect. Okay. And then the rest of those are all just going to be thrown in the trash. <laughs> they were just there for, uh, for the fun of, you know, running a fully loaded train. All right. I mean, I could actually unload all eight boxcars, but I don't think we want to do that right now. All right. Let's go back here. Let's give it some real power, see what it does, right? And then we're going to go on to the inside, inside, inside. I almost jumped out, but I can't do that because I won't be able to catch it. I can't just jump out here if I'm not running the mod, right? I'm glad that switch bug is not in there still. <laughs> it just looks like it's running off the track, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. And then we'll need to switch the second switch, right? Or the last one. Okay, so we want to switch this one and then we want to switch this one. Wow, that is so slow. <laughs> I'll meet you there in episode 38, right? And I think this, yeah, this is the one that we made it go parallel along there. Okay. <clears throat> so what we could do is we could go around and turn this around. I probably should do that, actually. Let's go like this. I changed my mind, so we're going to go, we're going to use our turnaround. You know what, actually if I do that, then I'm still going to have to re-rail the engine to turn it around, aren't I? But let's try it out, we're going to try out our turnaround. So that's this one here. And then we're going to come back past that and then back these cars in there. Yeah. We'll do it right. Okay. So. Go like this. Let's get some speed going here. There we go. Let's see if we can get these around. How's it doing on this corner? It's not doing too bad. That was, I think that's the sharpest corner on this. So that would be the biggest element of concern is that one right there. Give it a little bit of gas here. There we go. All right. See if we can get moving. Because, yeah, that'll put us front end first, and then we can go back to where I need to go find where my other cars are and put them back in. <laughs> Either the lumber cars or the log cars. I think the steel pipes go on the log cars, don't they? That's the tier one. Those are the ones you start with. Okay, this isn't as bouncy as it was. I don't know if maybe attaching the mod was affecting it. I'm going to try that. I'm going to attach and see what happens. 
No, I think it was just when I got up above like 13 or 14. My speed got high enough and suddenly it was freaking out. Okay. And we can do... Can we do it? Oh, we need to get out of the F screen in order to do that, so I'm going to wait. Give it a little bit more. So we need to get the last car past that split. Or we could even leave them way back there, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to leave them on that track. We could even leave them on this track. We don't need, need to put them on the siding right now. It's not strictly necessary. It's kind of an odd place to keep the boxcars, but yeah, I think we will. We'll put them on the siding. Sure, we got room here. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's important. <laughs> the switch is going to flip. Let's do this. Okay, it's not doing the it's not doing the window. Okay. Let's see if I can Nope. I'm trying to set up my cheats for my player. There we go. So I can actually run past this switch. Okay. Jump back in here. So we need to get the last car past that thing past that switch so we'll go like this the map the map moved is it me or did the map move or is the map bigger now or something I don't know something changed it seems odd okay we've got that now we should be able to flip this switch. And then we should be able to bring this up. So reverser. Oh, helps if I take the brakes off, doesn't it? <laughs> Definitely helps if I take the brake off. Um, let me see here. Yeah, we'll back this on to here. And I just want to make sure I don't go too far. But looks like it's going to work well. I don't know, these boxcars, I don't know why, but I just don't trust these boxcars. I just feel like they're going to fly off the track at any minute. <laughs> All right, so we've got that parked. I'm going to, um, we'll leave this out of the file, yeah. So I'm gonna um, leave this parked here and I'm gonna go find the other cars and put those in, take these out, and I will be back in just a minute. All right, we're back. We've got our other cars added in, so we're gonna remove this one. I'm gonna put the brakes on this too. Throw the brakes on there, there we go. Um, should I delete these or should I leave them in? I'm just going to leave them in. It doesn't seem, if they're not moving and they're on the other side of the map, it doesn't actually seem like it's making a huge difference. So, I don't know. We'll find out. But, see if we can, see if we can get this up here. And then what we're going to need to do is, we're going to have to do a bunch of back and forth stuff. So... Let's see how this does as far as like falling off the tracks and stuff but it's only the engine so not quite as big of a deal if it does fall off right <laughs> okay so we need to switch this one and then we'll go back there we go reverser
see how this does. Yeah, see, it's when it hits that speed that it starts jerking around like that. Although it's not bouncing off the track at all. All right. Then we're going to switch this one. Do I still have the pin in the back? See, it took the pin off the back. Nice. I didn't even go that far from the from the engine either, you know? All right. I don't think 100% is necessary to get the actual speed. We just use a lot more fuel <laughs> instead of actually going faster. <clears throat> so we'll come up to this junction and then we'll back up to hit the other cars. Because those are that's where we parked them. We parked them on that big long straightaway. And then the log cars are added back in. So I think what we'll end up getting done today is we'll get our big train put together. We're going to try to put together another really long train and pull it across the map instead of doing it twice. So we're going to put all the um, beams and the uh, pipes. We're going to put the beams on and carry the empty pipe cars. Hopefully they're not covered in logs. I think they are full with logs. So We'll have to check and see how many of those we need then. Because I'm not sure that we need all of the log cars, you know? <laughs> right? Because there's nine per thing. Yeah, we'll probably bring like eight of them. All right, we'll hit the brakes here. And not F1, F, there we go. And we're gonna switch over to this way. There we go. When these ones are together is what messes me up. See, we, those were, that was in there and then it came out. I don't know why it came out. Apparently I walked too far from the train. Yeah, apparently I came, I went too far, <laughs> too far away. Uh, and it came out. Because I know I pulled the pin from the boxcar, not from the, from the tender. All right, so our cars should be up here. There they are. Should be up ahead. It's hard to see right now. Let's see if we can. Can we zoom out on this? Not really. Okay. Looks like we'll have enough to coast there. And then we can just gently bump into this. Since these are freshly loaded in, they won't have the connectors on them. Better not, right? Let it go a little bit more. There we go. Okay, we're going to jump out and we're going to hit this when it... When it touches and then we can turn the brake off on this brakes zero there we go okay so everything should be good to go let me double check on the map here I do not see any brakes okay cool all and then we're gonna need to um, switch this switch up here so we want the second one to go this way all right and then we've got some more switches we're gonna have to switch once we get up here but I think that's okay for now there we go 
And let's do this too while we're waiting for things to happen. There we go. That's good enough. All right. So when I jump back out of that, does it... No, it does put me in the same spot. Okay. It doesn't put me where I came from. It puts me in its chosen spot. Okay. Check and make sure these aren't falling apart or anything. So yeah, we're going to end up with another long train, like 20 cars or something like that. But that's cool. That should be fun. I'll have to decide whether to load these up first. I think that's what we can do maybe, is we can load up the beams and then back up the loaded beam car to the log cars to get them to get them loaded up. Because that way we're not doing all the loading of this with the super heavy extra cars on there, right? So we'll do that. We'll go get these loaded up with beams. But yeah, I might have to stop and empty some of the log cars out into the pond. I don't remember if we left them loaded or not. I think maybe we unloaded them. I'm not positive now. But yeah, we'll need, because they do, you can sit nine pipes on a car. And I believe that industry has a maximum of, um, let me check the industry here. The Ironworks has nine, yeah, it has a hundred steel pipes and it can make more. And then the the oil field can accept 30 steel pipes. Okay, the oil field can only accept 30 at a time. Although it's going to make oil as we drop them off. So maybe six cars? I think we'll do six cars instead of like ten or whatever. We'll just do six pipe cars. We'll see We'll see what's as far as what's in the pond and stuff too. So we gotta decide how we're gonna go on this up here. We need to decide what we're gonna do as far as turning around because we want to get we want to back into this so I think what we can do is we can go take a right here and then go back and go all the way back in just need to make sure the switches are switched to the correct positions so all right so we're going to go this way, this way. We're going to come up to that, and then we're going to back down this one to this. And these both go to the thing, don't they? Okay, so we want to be on, we want to be on this one. We want to be on this inside track. So this one's going to go this way. All right. And then what do we have as far as logs over here? Let's just go check. 92. Okay. And then do we have empty cars up here? Yeah, we have empty cars. Okay, cool. So we can just do that with Betsy. All right, let's throw some fuel into Betsy. There. Okay, we'll get Betsy running. Because then Betsy can pull those down here and then jump off to the side. Cool. Okay. So we're going to go this way. Forward. All right, let's do it. That should get us everywhere we need it. I mean, we have enough 
Wow. It's really skipping there. We'll let it coast. Because <laughs> that looks scary. Is it going downhill or something? Because that's really moving. <laughs> All right, it's not it's not skipping off the track though. Last time it was really skipping off the track. Remember that? The first time after the update, I don't know if they did another hot fix and didn't then I didn't see it. I mean, it's possible, right? It's possible that that's what happened. So we need to get the last car past this switch here. And then we can back up. That shouldn't be too hard to see. I hope. <laughs> okay, and... Almost there. All right. Jump out, we're gonna hit this switch. This one here. You need to go this way and then that way. Is that right, the middle one? No, we need to go this way and then that way. Okay. That way and then split off. Okay. All right, we got it. Go back here. This is where I would probably use the the thingy. Probably use the uh, the remote and stand on the stand on that last car. All right, so this should get us to here, and then when we leave, we're going to be going forward. So I think what I could do is I could get Betsy up here with those log cars. I think that's what we could do. Could use Betsy to get those around the corner. There we go. Okay, good. We should be good to go then. This should get us up to there. So yeah, we'll get... We'll stop here and then we'll get Betsy and grab those cars. And I think there's eight of them, so we'll probably... Possibly clip a couple off. Let's see how this does around this corner. A little scary. I'm half expecting this to pile up, but we'll see. Especially when that hits that other switch and it gets more resistance and this is pushing. <laughs> right? Nope. Okay. Cool. No complaints here. Yet. <laughs> Don't speak too soon, right? Okay, and what we needed was the beams. So let's break here and let's see what we've got. Did we line it up? Oh yeah, we lined it up nicely. Cool. Okay, so let's go get Betsy over here. Betsy needs to bring the empties this way because this one's going to come off. How am I going to get back there for facing forward right because if I go that way then I'm just going backwards again oh and then I need to come back this way okay so I'm gonna need to back up through this so if we just leave the cars here you know if we leave them there it's gonna be really scary so I think maybe we should leave them right down here by the log thing. Okay. Let's do that. And do we need one, two, three, four, five, six? 
We're going to take these two off. Well, there's nine of them, but we're not even going to we're not going to be able to fill up nine of them anyway. Are we? Yeah, we would be able to fill up nine of them. We can do that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's bring the whole thing for the fun of it. Let's make sure there's no. Um, let me make sure there's no breaks on any of these. Nope, it looks like the only breaks are on Betsy. Okay. Go like this. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a good start. That's always a good start. Okay, let's see if... Yeah. All right. Betsy was just sit, hanging out there. Go forward. There. All right, cool. And it looks like, yeah, good. It looks like they're free, freely rolling, so. Let's get this up here. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide how I want to proceed with this. I think we can put Betsy beside that on that other track, so that'll work. I'm glad we didn't have all of them loaded up with logs. That would have sucked. And we're going to flip every switch on the way through, aren't we? <laughs> I'm glad I brought Betsy in. I thought about not putting it in because I'm like, well, that's another car that's in there, but that's fine. And they're doing okay on the crisscross. All right, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this one here. And then we need to put the brakes on the cars too, a couple of them at least. Let's do three of them. All right. So three of the cars have brakes on. We're going to go like this. And Betsy's going to go back here. Betsy can go hang out back here. There we go. All right, cool. And then we should be able to load this up. See if we can get the rest of these loaded up. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to use the remote on the other screen to move this gently. So we're going to go forward. Nope, forward. Let's let it all stop. Give it a little bit of juice here. There we go. Let this go forward a little bit. Because I don't remember if this is, yeah, it looks like it's going to want to slow down a lot. There we go. There's one. Getting close. One and a half. I think we need to do what? Twelve cars? So we gotta do this six times. There we go. Like that. And then we should be able to. Yep. Cool. And there's a one. <laughs> right? Wow, that was sudden. No more breaks than I wanted. Bring it up a little bit. There we go. 
All right. And then we're going to go this. Just got to be careful around it because the front end is going around a sharp corner now. So we do need to be a little bit more gentle about the braking. So we don't have, you know, cars flying off the tracks and all that. There we go. All right. Almost there. Yeah, see, that's going around that sharp corner. There we go. Start moving. We've only got the one more, so yeah, that's going to be it for episode 37. Join me in episode 38, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to connect this with our log cars, and then we're going to pull everything down to the other end. So yeah, that should be fun. <laughs> should be an adventure. Join me in episode 38. Uh, we'll get everything down there, and we'll see if we can make some oil. And we'll see you then. Later.